guys, Tristan back again with our video. Today I'm going to be off to Selhurst Park to see Crystal Palace take on Watford in the Premier League. I'm not going to lie, yeah, I'm buzzing for the game, you know what I mean? I'm kind of, I've got that feeling that we're going to win. If we win today, we could possibly go in the top half of the table, 10th or 9th. Depending on, of course, how other results go in the Premier League at the 3 o'clock kickoff plus the 1 in the morning as well, Bournemouth and Liverpool and that. Watford have won their last three games in all competitions against us of last season. Won in the FA Cup, the quarterfinals, and they went to Wembley and we didn't. A bit of rubbing the face for us in that. Twice in the Premier League doing a double over us, 2-1 back to back and they won they beat us 2-1 in the FA Cup as well believe it or not but trust me you lot Watford are going to be absolutely buzzing and they're going to be well up for this game especially last time out or last week I should say beating Liverpool by three goals to nil Champions League winners world champions and I'm beating in the Premier League until of course last time out against Watford when they lost 3-0. We just need to be positive, we need to be optimistic, we need to get behind the team, we need to especially get behind certain players such as Aha and Mr. Christian Benteke of course, who have been really playing well. It's just a shame Benteke hasn't been scoring or else we would, we would really be on his back and just, you know, be supporting them a lot better in that. Come on you Palace, try not to let me down. Let's get them three points to beat these scumbags aka Watford. <laughs> Do something, man. He's putting his shirt. Come on. Do something. Oh. Gotta get there! Oh my days. Zaz has got booked a minute ago for trying to. I don't know, he's just mouthing on onto the referee, and if he doesn't shut up. Lockdown. Roy ain't even doing shit, bro. He's pissing me off. Well, let it go. Just get a goal and shut him up, bro. Just do that, man. Get a goal and shut him up. Oh! Referee! There was a foul in there! And you can't even book him. Oh, here we go. Here comes the drama. Watford again. So it was not a guy, it was a trip. And he's a referee in the mouth. Watford man. And asking him to be sent off. It's always, it's always come to this. And it's happening for them. They're one nil down and they're playing like shit. Half time. What we need is a good performance. Overall to be fair. Apart from the first like 20 minutes. But we'll take it. Vincent Coffer, and now it all starts kicking off, him mapping towards Wilf, trying to be the big man, and it's all going to be wrong. Wilf, watch it, you're in the yellow! Checking it, I don't even know. 
How can you change from a yellow to I don't, I don't even I don't get this whatsoever, man. Has he not been booked? How has he not been booked? It makes no sense whatsoever. And now Dini's running his mouth. Shut up, Dini! And now he books him all because of the fight afterwards. It makes no sense whatsoever. These referees should be off the pitch. Is he going to get? Oh, no, he's not. He's going to book Keate. I don't know what's going on. Free kick. I don't know where this will end up. Hopefully, he's back up in there. Not far off. They're claiming a penalty out of absolutely nothing. I don't even know if it was a pen. It looked a hum. I don't know. It's 50-50. I don't think he's going to give it. It didn't look that bad of a handball. He might have struck the... It looked like he struck his shoulder. I don't know. Come on, don't do what we did last season. Oh, sh**. Save so from Gaia. Dini had a shot from about, I don't even know, but at least 20 to 19 yards out, something like that. 20 yards, the same thing, but you know what I mean? It's a good effort. But we're really, we really need to make a sub right now because they're coming for us, Watford. Although we do kind of a little bit dangerous on the break. I don't know how long it's going to last. Oh, my days. I'm nervous right now because they're causing more problems than Newcastle and Brighton were. 25 minutes out. Who's it's going out for throwing anyway? And another good save from Guy at the Kurish like header. I thought he was going wide, but he's just dipping in. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, Roy doesn't make us up soon. We are in trouble. Ah, oh, we're getting so desperate. Man, just push. Come on. Lukaku coming up a bit of boy of it. I like the type of shit move, a smart move, but you take it where it comes. Wind down that clock in that. You know what I mean? Biggest cheer of the day has come for the referee for finally giving us something that we bloody needed. Kick it off. The Kuro should be booked for that. I saw exactly what he did. I ain't going to say it. Shut up, the Kuro man. Right, stop, stop. Come on, stay up. Come on, stay up, Alice. We've just beaten Watford 1-0 as our first win against them since I believe December of 2017. That's how long ago we last beat them, man. Um, a superb performance from the Eagles, a win and a clean sheet, three wins on the bounce. The first time we won them amount of games, three wins on the row since May of 2018. That's nearly two years ago, so believe it or not, we needed it. I'm 39 points, we're 10th in the table for now. We've got Bournemouth next week. I think what we need to do in that game is just go for it. Be a bit more positive, play someone like Townsend and drop either Benteke or I'll just give him a bit of a rest start personally for. But you know, a superb performance and we were absolutely on top. We need to go for it, maybe even push Shiro Bully, which could either be a good thing or a bad thing, judging on what may happen next season. I think we're safe. Well, we're definitely safe now. I can't see it's going down. And yeah, we just, you know, we need to go to Bournemouth for a bit of positivity, attacking wise, and try and either win that, you know, even the draw might even be good enough, depending on how things go and other results go and other results to go away and that. That will be the end of the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. It's going to Twitter and Snapchat or in my link description below and that. And I will see you Palace Man next week or whenever. I might even be going to the Bournemouth game. Who knows? Yeah, see you lot then. Eagles. Peace.